Hi everyone, it's just a short video. Um, people keep asking me how I make my halfway of UHF flexible dipoles um, for the aircraft that I fly. So I thought I'd put this short video together just to uh, to let people know how I go about doing it. There's a picture of the uh, the FX-61 with the, the dipole out on the tip of the wing there right now. First of all, you need to go to um, the manufacturer of your UHF equipment and find out what frequency the uh, your unit's using or what band of frequencies. Um, so let's say for sake of argument you find that out and the band of frequencies is 450 to 460 megahertz. Yeah, what you do is you take the center of those and um, go to the site that you see on your screen now. I chose that one because it's one of the easier ones to, to use. There's loads of them on the internet. Use any one you want by any means. Um, but I find this one particularly easy to use and it will calculate a quarter of a wavelength for you. Um, of course, which you're going to make uh, two legs to make a half wave dipole. So in the um, in the top box there, you want to make sure that says if we if we're taking the example of your equipment running from 454 to 460 megahertz, 455 obviously being the center. So we use that. So on the top box, you'd put in 455 decimal zero zero zero. You then show that the frequency designation is in megahertz, and then select measure quarter of a wavelength, and then hit the calculate button. You'll see the uh, figures coming up in the boxes below. Depending which country you're in and what you want to work in, uh, you'll see all the uh, information you need there for a quarter of a wavelength. Uh, the one I use normally is the bottom one in millimeters, not showing 164.835 millimeters, so I would use that figure and uh, I would then cut two pieces of um, bicycle braking cable. That's what my dive wheels consist of. They're nice and flexible, they're really really strong. And um, cut those to length. Then I use a piece of single sided printed circuit board and um, I cut out the pattern in the board that's on the screen now. The sizes incidentally you're not tied to those sizes. You can change those sizes to anything you want. I just put them up to give some idea. Um, the two legs if you like that the dipole halves and the center conductor on the screen of the coax connect to simply an L piece so it makes it pretty easy. Most people don't have etching PCB capability and um, it's to get that PCB cut out. You just knife around there with a really sharp knife and take off the excess copper with your Dremel tool. That's as simple as that and leave those two pads intact as long as you've got those two pads so you can sew the other legs on um, and sew the coax on. Um, and the next step is obviously just to get your coax, terminate your coax and whichever plug you're going to use. Um, put your coax uh, through the two uh, holes with um, zip ties or tie wraps as we call them here in the UK. And um, solder the centre to one side and the screen to the other. And then solder your two legs on. Job's done. Um, I then just cover the elements with heat shrink tubing and uh, the thing's ready. Uh, that's it. That's It's going to be as close as you're going to need it for, for any UHF system. It's going to work as well as anything you're going to buy off the shelf if you make a decent job of it. And uh, it'll save you an awful lot of money. Hope you find it useful. And uh, thumbs up if you do. Subscribe or rate or comment on the channel. It all helps. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.